Good morning, fourth grade. It is 4B co-teacher Mr. Romano here coming at you with day two of Fairness Week for our Positivity Project. So I begin by asking, what does fairness mean to you? Take a few moments, think of an answer, talk out loud, talk to somebody next to you, write it down. What does fairness mean to you? Okay, moving forward. I'm going to show you guys a short video clip, A History of Unfairness. We are going to listen as Carl McNair tells a true story about his brother, Ron McNair, a real-life astronaut. Carl tells Ron's story about an incident of discrimination because of his skin color. When he was nine years old, Ron, without my parents or myself knowing his whereabouts, he decided to take a mile walk from our home down to the library, which was, of course, public library, but not so public for black folks okay. when you're talking about 1959. So as he was walking in there, all these folks were staring at him because they were white folk only, and they were looking at him and said, well, you know, who's this Negro? <laughs> so he politely positioned himself in line to check out his books. Well, this old librarian, she says, this library is not for coloreds. He said, well, I would like to check out these books. She says, young man, if you don't leave this library right now, I'm going to call the police. So he just propped himself up on the counter <laughs> and sat there and said, I'll wait. So she called the police and subsequently called my mother. Police came down, two burly guys come in and say, well, where's the disturbance? And she pointed to the little nine-year-old boy sitting up on the counter. He says, man, what's the problem? So my mother, in the meanwhile, she was called. She comes down there praying the whole way there. Lord, Jesus, please don't let them put my child in jail. And my mother asked the librarian, what's the problem? Well, he wanted to check out the books. And you know your son shouldn't be down here. And the police officer said, you know, why don't you just give the kid the books? And my mother said, he'll take good care of them. And reluctantly, the librarian gave Ron the books. And my mother said, what do you say? He said, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Later on, as youngsters, a show came on TV called Star Trek. Now, Star Trek showed the future where there were black folk and white folk working together. And I looked at it as science fiction, because that wasn't going to happen, really. But Ronald saw it as science possibility. Mm -hmm. You know, he came up during a time when there was Neil Armstrong and all of those guys so how was a, a colored boy from South Carolina wearing glasses, never flew a plane, how was he going to become an astronaut? But Ron was the one who didn't accept societal norms as being his norm. I mean, that was for other people. And um, he got to be aboard his own Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Okay, very powerful video. I have some questions for you guys. How was Ron treated unfairly? How did Ron react to being treated unfairly? Can you think of a time that you were treated unfairly? Can you think of a time in history that other people have been treated unfairly? Does the severity of the injustice or unfairness change the way you would react? And I want to take one quick look at this really good comic. I've seen it since I was little. 
It says in the top right, for a fair selection, everybody has to take the same exam. Please climb that tree. We have a couple birds, a monkey, a penguin, an elephant, a fish in a bowl, a seal, and a dog. Do you think that's fair? And I want to leave you guys with this quote. It is not fair to ask of others what you are not willing to do yourself. Now, after this video is uploaded, I want you guys to really pause when the questions for the class come. And I really want you guys to take some time and critically think about the questions that are being asked of you guys. I love and miss you. I can't wait to see you back in the classroom. Have a good one.